Michelle, thank you so much for being here today on The Knowledge Buffet. Let's jump right into this. Welcome. All right, here's the first question. What is the difference between public relations and marketing? Marketing is when you're focusing on promoting and selling a specific product, whereas public relations is when you're really working on building and maintaining a positive reputation, building relationships for the company as a whole. How do they work together? They both have the same goals of building the brand and engaging audiences. So they really function hand in hand. Marketing is where the messages are often created and it can sometimes be pushing it one way towards the audience. That's where public relations jumps in and drives it more to two-way engagement with the brand and the messages, helping build that reputation and credibility and a real relationship between you and your customer. So our next question is, why is understanding our audience so important? You really need to know who your customer is, what their pain points are and how you can help them. That is gonna be key. But everyone here engages and responds to communications differently. So you need to understand everything about them so that you can connect with them where they are, where they're going to see and hear their messages at the time that they need those service provisions. And that's how you can connect with them on their consumer journey. So Michelle, what are key messages? Key messages are the main points that you want your target audience to hear and remember. They're the real meaning and headlines of what your company or business can provide to them. They're not taglines as much as they really are almost vision and mission statements about what you're going to deliver to the consumer. When does it make sense to actually send out a press release? I love this question because it's tricky. You have to have what I call real news or a way to package your news in a way that attracts media attention. So it's finding that nugget that's new and different and interesting and sharing that so that you can catch their attention. So what are the media looking for? Aside from wanting to know the, you know, who, what, where, when, why, and how, there's a real high level need for something that's different, new, innovative, maybe controversial, and also that human interest piece. If you have a message or a news item that's got all of those parts, you're gonna be able to attract more media to interview you and write stories about your product and that particular news interest piece. When the media calls, what do I do? The firstly, remember that no one needs to answer questions instantly when media call. You're very able to ask them what story they're writing, what angle they're looking into, have they talked to anyone else yet about it, and what is their deadline? That gives you an opportunity to schedule a follow-up phone call for the interview at a time when you've had a minute to think about your answers and it's still well within their deadline to write their story or film their piece. You're still in the driver's seat is really my message about that. Why is diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging an important company focus? We've really been making a new focus uh, a little bit more strongly since the summer of 2020 to recognize that everything we do needs to be inclusive of all different types of audiences. So when you're thinking about your customer base, it's really important to think about those customers who might come from different backgrounds or diverse nature, different ethnicities, and think about how can your messaging and communication engage with them. This goes back to that piece about understanding your audience. What we traditionally do might not resonate with someone from an indigenous community or the black community or different diverse communities. And it's really important to think about making your company reach across all of the pieces of the market. What is inclusive communication and why does it matter? Inclusive communications is where you account for all the different audiences that might be interacting with your brand, whether it's in person, on a website, through a news brochure, a flyer. And you're really thinking about what are the words that you use? What is the messaging that you use? And another piece is to be aware when there are world events going on that might impact your customer base to be engaged in a way that is more than just a performance, to be really reflecting on how you can reach out, how you can show support in an authentic way with your communications and marketing platforms. That's what matters to customers, is to know that you are with them and that you understand things that are important to them. And it's not just about sell, sell, sell. 
How do I avoid making mistakes in my inclusive communication? One of my big takeaways with this is build in some time. I know we're often as entrepreneurs under time pressure and we had to do things yesterday, but when it comes to inclusive communications, it's really important to be thinking about your audience and how they can interact with you or understand your communications at the beginning of your planning process. So whether that is working with employees of diverse backgrounds in your company or organization or doing research on the internet to understand different perspectives or even making relationships with community organizations where perhaps you engage them for a session of reviewing some of your materials for a nominal fee or for a donation that is a way to to avoid making the mistakes that we didn't notice we could be making michelle thank you so much for joining me today on the knowledge buffet we're going to take these little snacks a la carte and away we go.